welcome back beautiful people into another video in this video i'm going to discuss about how you can download your browser and i'm going to discuss about browser ui and how you can use your browser all of this i'm going to discuss in this video so if you are new if you don't know how to use browser properly then this video is for you so guys without wasting your time let's start this video so after new windows you can see this browser only Microsoft Edge, open this browser and here search Google Chrome. Go to this first website and click on download Chrome. Now you can see in here my download is enabled. I'm going to click on start download then click on yes. It may take some time to download your file. I already download Chrome, so I'm going to close this one. And I'm going to close this browser also. After that, if I open my Chrome, you can see in here, who's using Chrome. There are many profiles you can create. You can add another profile from here, like this. Continue with an account, or you can sign in with your Gmail account. So I'm going to select this account. Then you can see it's open our Google Chrome browser. In here, if you select this one, it will be show you the history of this image. Now you can see Olympic Games Paris 2024. And you can also share this doodle to Facebook or anywhere. And in search, you can search your website by the end name or link. You can also search in here also by URL or name. And this site, you can see in here, you can also add shortcut your favorite website. You need to give name and your favorite website URL. I'm going to add YouTube. And click on done after type name and paste URL. I can see our another website is added. Now I'm going to talk about this area. You can see this icon in here. My zoom is 125%. If I click on this, I can zoom in or zoom out like this. Or you can make bookmark with this. If I go to this website, I can easily bookmark this by selecting this. And here you can see all of this. This is our extension. We can enable or disable. To go here, you can pin or unpin this. If I unpin this option from here, you can see my icon is gone. If I pin this, now you can see my icon from here. And here you can change your account. From here, you can choose another account. You can see in here. And you can see all the bookmark in here. Simply click on here and you can see my all my bookmark. I bookmark all this website. And here in search lab, you can see this lab in here. I don't need this one. So I'm going to close this one. If you need, you can see this and experiment this. But click this, you can see Google services in here. You can see all services like this. You can also see more from Google. So I'm going to close this one. And from here, you can also add account or sign out your account. If I click on add account, you need to give your email and password. So I'm not add any account. Then go to your three dot icon from here. If you click on this, customize and control Google Chrome. Now you can see new tab, new windows, new ignito windows. If I click on this, now you can see a new page is open. So I'm going to close this one. And here you can also choose another profile from here. Password, autofill, history. You can also see your history from here. Or you can press Ctrl H to see your history. If you click Ctrl H, you can see my all history. Then you can see your download. You can see my all my download in here bookmarks and bookmark list 
Sega Sima all bookmark. Now you can see in here, Manage Extension or Visit Chrome Web Store. If I click on Manage Extension, now you can see I can manage all my extension from here. I can remove extension or I can search extension from here. And you can use load unpack pack extension or update. You can use third party extension with load extension. In visit Chrome Web Store, you can go to your web store like this. You can install any extension from here. You can search name and you can install extension. And you can zoom in, zoom out. We already see how you can zoom. With Ctrl Plus, you can zoom in or zoom out. Or you can pin this page like this, Ctrl P. And you can find and edit. Save and share. And more tools, you can see name window, reading mode, performance and tax manager. Help, and you can go to your setting. You can change setting on your browser. You can see all of this. If I click on exit, I can close this browser. But I'm not going to close this. In here, you can see this pen icon. Select this one. From here, you can change this to dark to light. Or you can change this color or you can also change this theme. If I select this theme, I can see my image is changed. Or you can enable this to refresh daily. If I select this one, my all images will be changed in daily. Or you can select solid color or you can also Upload image in here. So I'm going to close this one. So guys, this is our video about how you can use Google Chrome browser in your work. I hope you understand this video and learn something new. Please subscribe this channel for more upcoming interesting videos.